do you know how to fix this or any of these? So we've been talking about fixing all these computers and uh, just save them from the recycle center. I bought some RAM, I bought some CPUs, I bought some solid states, some coolers. We're going to fix as many of these as we can. And here's my plan. Some of you commented lately uh, under one of the XPS video that, Scott, you just talk a lot about computers. I have the same computer you're presenting, but you're actually not showing us how to do things. That is true. And also getting comments and questions like, how can I change my career? How can I get a job in the IT field with no experience? Like, nobody wants me to hire because I have no experience, so I can't start. How can I gain some experience without sitting in a class and just get actual hands-on knowledge? And I think we have a perfect opportunity in here. So I've been doing for IT over 20 years. I'm a Microsoft certified system engineer. I'm a VMware certified professionals. I don't have all the answers for every single thing. But what I learned in this past 20 years, you can get to the same result by choosing multiple paths. And the beautiful thing about IT is there are always many ways to solve a problem. So let me share my experience with you so you can get a better job, you can be a better tech, you can help out your friends, your family, your community. You can do this as a side business. I have all the experience we share with you and here's the crazy things. If you are somebody who wants to learn things but have no computers, if you can help me out with the shipping, once I fix a computer up, you see there are quite a few laptops, desktops, microcomputers are here, maybe some all-in-ones. If you are interested to learn this, but you don't have the actual equipment, I can help you to send the equipment out for free. I'm only asking to covering shipping because I already spent money on RAM, solid state CPUs. I'm probably going to start flipping some computers so we can get into that. I used to do that a lot. I have a full-time job. I have a part-time job. I really don't have time for that, but I try to cover my costs just by running to this studio and also sending these computers out for technically for free. Uh, I can do more if you guys just help me out with the shipping cost. And I'm happy to do that. Uh, you don't have to mess up your own laptop, your family computer, or your parents, or uh, or loved ones' computer just to learn things. If things can go bad, sometimes in a process to learning things or trying different things, we are breaking things. These computers are perfect for that reason. Or even some of you can just use them as a computer who really, really needs a computer and can't afford. I'm happy to help you out. Uh, you help out the channel. And uh, at, at the end, I think this is going to be really beneficial. We're going to start learning how to back up a computer properly, how to restore the backup, how to make sure that the backup is absolutely in, in working condition. And if it comes down to that, we're going to be able to restore our backups even to a completely different hardware. How to upgrade things, how to do basic troubleshooting, how to work on site, what to wear, what kind of tools you need, what kind of software do you need, and everything will be on budget as efficient as possible. Just like in here in this studio, if I look around, I barely put any money in this. I try to just come up with smart ways, and this is pretty much coming through my whole entire career. There are some points when, when we cannot be cheap, we have to spend the money what will serve the client as best as possible for their own interest but whatever we can make money and make sense i'm doing it i'm not only uh, doing it as a professional but also as a consumer as an owner of these devices i own several laptops several desktops i'm going through the same thing i have to upgrade windows i have to make a decision to upgrade the cpu uh, the video card or a ram or anything connected to that what kind of software to use uh, there's a lot we can uh, get into, and if you, again, interested into learning things, I, I'm thinking about making these repair videos part of the series when you're going to be ramped up from technically little to zero knowledge to a point when you can land at an IT job 
as a desktop technician, as a software technician, or as, as a general basic network technician, or just a single man shop and start taking on clients or taking on customers. Uh, let me know what you think in a comment section. Let me know if you have any suggestions or any comments on this. Let me know if you would be somebody who would be interested in to learn things and maybe receive some of these computers not for flipping, not for reselling, only for maybe helping you or a family member out or, or mostly what I would like to see is learning things and have a PC and install something, maybe Linux or a Chrome operating system or something you haven't tried before but don't have the equipment to mess up or tinker or play around with. Let me know what you would use these computers for. Thank you so much for your time. And we're going to start ramping up. The first video going to be about fixing up this particular computer with a new bootable drive found. This is going to be the PC what I'm going to try to use for streaming with multiple cameras for different angles. So while we are doing the actual work, you can see exactly how to work on these computers. Thank you so much for your time. I see you at the next video. Scott's out.